Thank you for tuning in to the Law Nation Film Session. As we take a deeper look at Sam Williams, first and foremost, he's six foot four, about 265 pounds in. He can play inside and out. And we're going to shoot through these first film, uh, just giving you guys a real raw, uncut look at Sam. His burst, his speed is there, his speed to power is there. He got strong hands, got a little dip action to him as well. And he got the ability to take away the hands and get up field. Now, sometimes he do get caught up in space uh, when there's no other plan of action. He don't have a whole host of weapons. A guy that's raw and the Cowboys only fought with this. They didn't give this man enough chances and opportunity to be out there on the field. In my opinion, he had five sacks last season. And when he went to the playoff game, he had pretty much only one or two reps in that entire playoff game. So that's coaching mile practice, in my opinion. And it was just basically in the late fourth quarters when he got a chance to get out there on the field. As we can see, this man got an explosiveness. His burst, his get off on the line is there. You can see he got a uh, pass rush moves. He took away the hands and still went upfield. He's a 4-4 guy at that height and size. That's what you really want out there on the field being able to be a disruptor right and the only limitations he had was the coaching staff now let's dive deep into these type of things why was this the situation why did the cowboy use a second round draft pick on him and didn't utilize his skill fully uh you can say it's the disciplinary actions out there but i'm just trying to win games you can see that his speed is so quick that nine times out of ten you can see that he get the shoulders turned. And once you get the offensive lineman shoulders turned, that's half of the battle. You won the game, especially if you have the speed and the tenacity that he brings to the table. Watch his birds get off, fight through the hole, and get to the quarterback. Look at that. Not stopping his feet. Pay attention to the feet. That's what you really want to take a look at these defensive uh, edge guys and linemen. Can they continue to move their feet? A body in motion stays in motion. Here he is lying out wide. He's able to bend and scoop around the edge here, playing that, that wide nine technique. And he's just so fast that the tackle is not able to make that necessary adjustment. Like I said, he's a 4-4 guy. Dip his shoulders strong, and he gets around on the edge there. The ball just took a friendly bounce and went back into the hands of Jalen Hurts. But if you can see, he fight through the arm there. You can't stop him with, with just a lazy arm. He fights that down, chop, undercut, speed through there, keep his feet moving, don't stop his feet, fight through the hole, and get to the quarterback there. And he forced a fumble right here, just bounce back into the hands of Jalen Hurts. But those are things that you look for right here, just a zone read right here, falls back into the zone, and he makes the sack here being able to stop him and you know the quarterback here is he's a running type of quarterback so he kept his eyes as a spy looked like he was going to shoot through a gap nope back pedals pay attention come down and feel and make the necessary sack here i do like saying that out of sam williams just scoop right on in so fast young didn't even know what was coming and what absolutely hit him if you can look at it as a closer up right here he speeds right through there Keep in mind, I'm going to keep saying this, low man win, speed wins too. He got that, so he got speed. He got power. The Cowboys just didn't utilize the skill set that Sam exhibits. He got some technique here to him. Yes, he needs some time to even polish these things, but you can clearly see, yeah, get off of the line here. He take the hand away, scoop that away, not allowing him to get full contact here. He squeezes down off of there, dip his shoulder, and the rest is history. This is him keeping up with all of the techniques that he learned from his uh, training of how to keep your feet moving, getting the offensive lineman out of his cylinder here. The offensive lineman want to keep him inside the cylinder, and he do a false step, gets outside, dip the shoulders, and there's nothing he can do. Nothing he can do. The dude is so quick that boom and it happened just that fast and being able to get to the quarterback is everything ah get those hands off of them and being able to scoop and get inside and watch half body here half body take away the hands don't allow the hands to get inside and he get there right to the quarterback we like seeing that oh yeah 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 and and not keeping engaged just disengaging just using speed to power right here to make sure he get to the quarterback here he only had a spoonful of reps here and i just want to show you the tenacity aspect of it here he is lying outside 
and he knows that he's going to try to squeeze inside. You know that he got the 24 and 78. He's going to split that, split that. What is it? False step. Yeah. Euro uh, inside. You reach and I'm teaching. No frame ability to stop that. 24 is in good position, but the speed is real, y'all. Knife through there. Get skinny. Fight through the hole. I'm not looking for someone to save me. And he gets to the quarterback here. And he gets a sack. So he had five sacks for the season. They counted that one only as a half. But I'll give him the full sack. He was the first one there. Cowboy Nation. When we got to the playoff, he didn't have a single meaningful rep in the playoff game at all. They put him in in the fourth quarter for some mop-up time. And that's to me, was one of the decisions that the Cowboys coaching staff, you can call it malpractice coaching. But you got to put this type of guy out there with the speed, the burst acceleration on top of that, using a second round draft pick for someone with the skill set of a Sam Williams. He should have been out there more. But this is the truth. Now you will be able to see him more. Remember, Mike Zim, he knows how to use and utilize these type of skill sets out of a player. So uh, when I talked to a few people around Dallas, even spoke to one of my guys, B. Tuck, he said he sees a 10 digit sack guy out of him and he knows that for sure that he's a hard worker your dedication is there so i can't wait to see him in a full season as that role on the edge and occasionally you can put him and kick him down inside and I, i'm quite sure he by far will have one of his best seasons sam williams hey look out for him keep in mind even in his rookie year he had four sacks and he only had a spoonful of snaps only i believe by 260 some odd snaps so oh yeah so so to quantify that he only had 299 snaps for the 2023 season that's not enough that's coaching mild practice there you got to at least give this man about 600 snaps or more and uh, that's just crazy that you got this production level five sacks for 299 snaps he only had two snaps in the postseason. So that's crazy when you start to look at everything and, and say to yourself, are you getting the max ability or the max capabilities out of your players? And the answer to that is no. And the previous year, he only had 260. So that's crazy. Somebody of this kind of caliber need to have more and more reps. So free Sam Williams and Cowboy Nation. Come on, man. Stop drafting guys and putting them on the bench. This dude got too much talent to be there. The Cowboys, hey, if you're going to draft a person like Sam Williams, be sure to utilize the person that you draft. Sometimes you have your solutions right in-house. You can be looking so far out and being too wise of your own self of, of not using the resources that you have. Cowboy Nation, post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys.